Welcome back to another episode. This week we crossed the border from Victoria to South Australia. Our first stop was only a short drive from the border, Mount Gambier, which I have to say really surprised me with some of the most beautiful sights we have seen so far. Good morning. So our first stop of the day in Mount Gambier is the Blue Lake. And from what we've seen online, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So very excited for this. There's a 3K loop you can do around the entire lake with panoramic views over the lake. So this is gonna be really nice. The Blue Lake occupies one of the craters of the extinct volcano after which Mount Gambier was named. What's really incredible is that the water changes to this really vibrant blue color that you can see here around early November, which basically happens overnight. It stays like this until around March, where it starts to turn back into like a grayish color. So if you do want to see the lake in all its glory, I would definitely recommend trying to come between November and March. sinkhole. This was actually what drew me to Mount Gambia when I saw pictures and other YouTube videos about this sinkhole. It looks absolutely stunning. Very green so I'm really really looking forward to this. And then we've got one more stop after sinkhole. The Umpiston sinkhole was once a typical limestone cave. The sinkhole was naturally created when the chamber's roof collapsed. In 1886, the sinkhole was transformed into the beautiful sunken garden you can see here, which is open every day and is free to enter. George said there's a cave back here that we even went down here. Okay, that is a definite must do if you're in Mount Gambia. Do you reckon? Yeah, 100%. It was so cool. It's kind of like an in and out activity. You don't really spend a whole lot of time there. We were there for what, like half an hour? Just to get some cool shots and to walk around, take it all the beauty. So yeah, next stop, it's the Little Blue Lake. It's a little version of the big blue lake that we saw earlier, but this one you can swim in. I will not be. George is excited. <laughs> to the blue lake and just sitting outside i don't know about anyone else but exploring for the day even though we haven't done a whole lot it's really tiring i'm exhausted so we're gonna have a snack a cup of tea but yeah i definitely think after 30 exploring and everything gets a lot harder <laughs> it's so dramatic here he comes oh. with the goods oh my god the door nearly closed on you yeah it's pretty windy <laughs> got Cottage cheese. This is a new thing for me, right? George was always eating cottage cheese and I was like, oh. And he actually got me to try it. He's like, why don't you actually try it? Because I'm always like, just stubborn with that stuff. So I actually tried it and now I'm obsessed with it. I want it for every meal. So we have cottage cheese and George, well George has cottage cheese and Frank sauce on it. And I have cottage cheese and sweet chili and we put it on rice cakes. And it is the ultimate mid-afternoon snack. You cannot tell me otherwise. 
So yeah, looking forward to this. This is the finished product. Yum. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to follow along with the adventures. See you next time.